I'm Cecil Lowe. Um, I'm a professor here at the Graduate Center in Environmental Psychology and Anthropology, Geography, and Women's Studies. I'm also the director of the Public Space Research Group, which is improving the public spaces all over the world, but particularly here in New York City, where we do a lot of research um, on the privatization of public space and how public space is increasingly disappearing. So I really wanted to talk a little bit about the Women's March and that we have particular concerns. There are women concerned about uh, being able to be maintain pro-choice. I think they're concerned about the rights to women's health and reproductive rights. I think that women are concerned about their right to get equal pay for equal work. I think women are concerned about women uh, increasingly being seen in uh, political office. The, the, the kind of sexism that underlies all our institutions is still with us. And part of what we're fighting for is fighting back against the image uh, of women in the home and instead uh, women in public, in the streets, as our leaders. What I get asked as, again, a professor here at the Graduate Center, um, my students are always saying, what can we do? And all of us are trying to work very hard to trying to think about what can we do in this moment of time? And as women who have women's concerns, uh, be it about ourselves, our children, our reproductive rights, our right to marry, our right to not marry, our right to be in the street, our right to be on a subway without being sexually harassed, um, to have equal pay, to have break the glass ceiling, all of, all of this, um, let's march. And I think it really resonated with everyone who felt frustrated by an election in which the public vote elected a woman, Hillary Clinton, um, but the Electoral College went heavily for Trump, uh, President-elect Trump. There is a sense that the National Park Service were trying to really reduce the amount of public space actually available for public demonstrations. And I do worry that uh, the Women's March, what we ran into, not being able to find sites, everything being closed, uh, being hard to organize, being hard to find a, a place to be, that that might say something about what we're going to see in the future. Um, but my answer to that is that there are issues that bring us all together on both sides of the uh, political spectrum, and I think uh, women's issues is one place that we can come together.